Uh, call the honourable member for Chifley. Thanks, Deputy Speaker. Uh, when we think of the issue of domestic violence, in my own case, it sparks in me a deep anger. An anger that people who are vulnerable uh, are forced to witness or endure uh, the, uh, the impact of domestic violence. I think of the stats that say that children who have witnessed domestic violence are more likely to then perpetrate that violence themselves when they become adults. But then I think that anger doesn't cut it. Anger is the wrong emotion to feel in this instance. It's misplaced. It's the worst emotion to feel. What is needed and what I'm told quite often when I speak with people who are at the front line of dealing with domestic violence is that we need to be focused on the issue, that we need to talk about the issue, that we can't sweep the issue under the carpet, which is why when we have the call, as the opposition leaders made, as Labor has called for a domestic violence summit, that this is critical, to be able to focus the nation on the need to act as one, and that there are many people in this place who rightly feel, regardless of political colour, that we should get the nation focused on this and we should dedicate work to it. We should be dedicating work to the Safest Houses grants. We should be dedicating more to frontline services. We should be mapping perpetrator action so we can help avoid this, and we should be acting as one to ensure that the vulnerable, the children, are not affected any further by domestic violence.